the density operator represented via the Pauli vector. In this video, it will be shown how the density matrix of a qubit state can be represented using a vector consisting of Pauli matrices. We have a qubit state vector written in the most general form. Here, theta and phi are the coordinates on the block sphere. The density matrix corresponding to the state, by definition, is given by the following formula. Here, the bra psi is a transposed and complex conjugate ket psi. Let us substitute the expression for the ket psi into the formula for the density operator. First, we apply the standard matrix multiplication rules and multiply a row by a column. Then, use the trigonometric formulas for the sine and cosine of a double angle and an expression to represent a complex number. Now, we can express the resulting matrix through the sum of Pauli matrices with some coefficients. In this case, the decomposition is quite simple and we can easily find the coefficients before the identity matrix and Pauli operators x, y and z. By introducing some notations, this formula can be written in compact form. Here, sigma is a vector consisting of Pauli matrices, and r, written with subscript rho, is a unit vector on the block sphere. 